Don Alton responsible for trying to stop the Warriors' high-powered offense. They haven't lost a game in the playoffs at home. And, of course, Alexis Bouquet in goal for the Whitby Warriors. This game's not a minute and a half old yet before Dan Lintner's going to throw this one home past the outstretched leg to Alton. It is one to nothing. Warriors... On a power play here, Curtis Knight tiptoeing around the crease, and he's going to score. That's going to make it 2 to nothing. but Johnny Paulus is going to get that one back. Look at this beautiful behind-the-back goal. It's so nice, but got to take a look at it again here. Chad Tutton had no chance, and neither did Alexis Bouquet on that one. Warriors shorthanded. Knight gets a hat-trick goal. Shorthanded, power play, and an even-strength goal before this game is just 12 minutes old. Riley O'Connor appears to be pretty popular with the Arrows team. Everybody seems to be want to be around him, but uh, he doesn't quite enjoy the attention uh, quite as much. Shorthanded again here. This is Paulus. Did he go between the legs to score this goal? Let's find out. Yeah, he did. He's treating this game as his own personal skills competition. A beautiful shorthanded goal. Let's go to the second period now. Randy Stats has no stick, but that's okay. He's got a big elbow for the head of Riley McKinnon. So the Warriors go back to the power play here, but it did not go according to plan. Josh Johnson scores the shorthanded goal. The special teams are coming to play in this one for sure. Nice passing up floor here by the brothers Hossack to Brody Tutton, and he will score. Whippy's got some momentum back in this one. Meanwhile, Chad Tutton, he is robbed of a goal here. This one goes in the net. He never did go in the crease. The officials have a very tough time of things in these games. It goes at such a fast speed. Can't fault them all the time, but this one clearly should have counted. Meanwhile, Austin Shanks gets that one back almost right away. Another shorthanded goal. There are more shorthanded goals scored in this game than power play goals. You don't often see that. Under two minutes to go in the second period. Knight gets his fourth goal of the game. That makes it 10-5 to for the Warriors. But that is where the party would end. The Arrows score two quick goals in just over 35 seconds in the end of the second period to make it a three-goal gap, and they would own the third period. Joe Miracle gets it started here, a pop in this one home, and then just about two minutes later, Brendan Bomberry from outside. It is all of a sudden an 11-10 to 10 advantage for the Warriors. Paulus loses Daryl Robertson here, pitches over to Josh Johnson, he scores. This game is tied up at 11. Just over seven minutes to go in the game. Jordan Dunstan never should have had that much time and space. The Arrows' first lead of the game is the last goal scored in this one. They outscored Whitby 5-1 to one in the third period and now take a 2 to nothing series lead. I mean, just both ends of the floor. We gotta step our game up. We gotta uh, we gotta run harder, work harder for those ground balls. I mean, yeah, all around. We just gotta we just gotta pick our game up. That's all there is to it. It's been a lot of game of runs. We we get up. I think we're up five in the second, and uh, we just we just didn't have that killer instinct, and we just couldn't finish them off. And we allowed them to come back, and uh, a few bounces here and there, and they pulled it out a one goal win, which is uh, not what we wanted. But uh, we're still in this, and uh, we still believe. We. The first game was in overtime, this game was by one, so we know we, we can win this still, and it's uh, just a bounce here or there, and uh, we're right back into it.